Javier Solana has been the EU's Mr. Diplomacy for more than 10 years. But now he's handing the job over to Catherine Ashton, the recently appointed High Representative for Foreign and Security Policy. Trying to give the EU a bigger say in resolving the conflicts in the Middle East, from Gaza to the West Bank to Iran, has always been one of his top priorities. Javier Solana, outgoing High Representative for uh, Foreign and Security Policy. Welcome to Euronews. First of all, what do you think about uh, the recent appointments uh, of the top jobs of the European Union? Do you think that this is upgrading the role of the European Union on the world stage? Well, I, I happen to know both uh, the President and the High Representative well. Uh, you talk about the High Representative, uh, Catherine Ashton. I, I know her well from some, some years back. And I follow the, the, last, uh, the last time, the last period of time here in Brussels, uh, where she had a very important portfolio in the Commission, trade. There's no doubt that today the economic component of foreign policy, the trade dossier, is a very important one. It's true that the other parts of the foreign policy dossier, like crisis management, is going to be at the heart of her job. But this is something that you, you, you learn as you do, do learn some other, some other things. One of the most important challenges for the European Union is the Middle East. Uh, the situation there is still very difficult. We have not been able, uh, even at this moment uh, in which uh, things were prepared to move, um, because um, the Israeli government has not uh, stopped the settlement, for instance, and um, that has created a dynamic uh, counterproductive to what it was... So uh, it's up to the Israeli to, to take the first step, according to you. Uh, I was reading uh, uh, last night uh, a long part of uh, a new, new tape that has come out of the conversation of President Clinton analyzing Camp David. And he has a, a line there, which I take. The strong is the one who has to, ask to take the most difficult step because he's a strong, because he has a country already. The other is weak and it's not a country. And what is the, 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 the step uh, that Israel should be I think the step taken? now should have been, and I hope that it still is done, to create the conditions uh, to construct confidence and trust by stopping the, the settlements growth. And do you think that the Netanyahu government, the current government, will be able to do that? Because I have not they... lost the, the, the hope that that will be possible. Now we have to be very tenacious, uh, very stubborn, and uh, at the same time we have to, to, to accompany the, our Palestinian friends uh, in order to get uh, um, their governance. That's very important in place. And for that, the Prime Minister Fayyad, the Prime Minister of the Palestinian Authority, is doing a very, very, very good job. You have played an important role as a mediator, negotiator on the Iranian nuclear issue. Uh, what do you think uh, is going to happen? We have to keep on. The, 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 to get uh, uh, objective uh, guarantees that the nuclear program of Iran is peaceful, is fundamental, to have the possibility of uh, increase in risks, an increase in proliferation but in that region. Do you think that the Iranians uh, have the good will to stop uh, their nuclear build-up? Because the problem is a problem of will, and if they don't want, uh, well, it's, it's, it's impossible. A, it's a, and the I message mean, that they are sending a, are not... We have to really recuperate a sense of trust. That's why the, the, the position of President Obama, when he wrote, uh, uh, or he made a statement at the New Year of the Iranian, uh, uh, Iranian year, was very important. The fact that uh, in this negotiation the United States participated yep. fully with me, I think is important, and we have to see. But the, the, the Iranian response to this. Uh uh, openness of the Obama administration has been uh, a radicalization of their positions. The level of mistrust is still very profound. And um, foreign policy is, uh, is about trust. And uh, trust is not constructed in hours, it's constructed with a lot of effort and uh, tenacity. 
Could you define Yasser Arafat in a few well, words? Well, I, I, I had with Yasser Arafat a, a very profound relationship. I think he trusted me. And, and I think that he did uh, and you? The, the good things he did. Uh, uh, I think I had something to do with them. I talked to him regularly. I visited him regularly. Uh, even when he was under arrest uh, in the Mukata. Ariel with, Sharon? Ariel Sharon. With Ariel Sharon, I had a very bad relationship at the beginning. And then the, again, it was a question of mistrust. He mistrusted me. Uh, he thought uh, being a European uh, could not be a friend of Israel. And uh, he changed his mind. And I remember the last time I saw him, before he'd had a stroke, we had a long conversation. And in a way, for somebody like Sharon, he apologized. Uh, to me, tete a tete, for the mistake he had made when he treated me uh, with the mistrust that he treated me at the beginning. Comparing the experience of Catherine Ashton to the experience you had when you took over this job, uh, there are many differences, don't you think so? Well, maybe different experiences, but it doesn't mean that uh, the capacity to, to, to do a job uh, it's only related to your previous experience. And just the last one, Hamid Karzai and this Afghanistan situation. I saw his evolution when he was elected and, uh, and um, it produced me a certain sadness. The fact that he was not able to break completely with uh, the corruption that existed in the, the government and with some of the warlords of the tragic history of Afghanistan. Do you think that uh, Afghanistan is uh, the war wars to be fought by the European countries or not? I think, uh, yes, at this moment, yes, I think we have to be there. Um, but we have to see how much really the people and the government wants us to be there. And uh, the proof will be if they act in a manner which is cooperative, really cooperative with us. We don't want to take over the country. It's their country. If they want to go in a direction that is completely opposite to the direction that we want to go in helping, it will be very difficult to maintain the support in the public opinions in our countries, including the United States. Javier Solana, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.